Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to have a presentation. Uh, I am Jia Xuan Xu from School of Forestry and Resource Conservation, National Taiwan University. I am a PhD. Actually, I just got my PhD degree last month. Today, I want to share, share an interesting topic with you. Ecology of land hermit crabs in Taiwan, conservation through ecotourism. Hope you have a good time. Now, first, let me introduce myself. Uh, I get my I got my PhD degree just last month from School of Forestry and Resource Conservation, and I got my master degree. Uh, 2013 to 2015 from Department of Oceanography, National Sun Yat-sen University. And since my master degree, I just start, start to study land hermit crate ecology. So I publish a lot of article uh, related to Le Hermit Crab and also publish some popular science article to uh, promote environmental education to our citizens. And first, I want to introduce where is Taiwan? Have you ever been to Taiwan? Uh, actually, it's really a long distance. Here is USA. And where is Taiwan? Here, just beside the mainland China and the south of Japan. And what's, how, what's the distance? It's 6,780, oh sorry, 92 miles. Yes, it's really far, far away. We are we are an island country. So, we, we also have a lot of remote islands. And this island of the later is where I have been to research the Lehermi crabs. And we have very diverse habitat for hermit crabs. Wayland, coastal forest, uplifted uh, coral reef here, and the beach. Uh, today, we have uh, six species of the hermit crabs in Taiwan. Actually it's seven species because I find the I found the strawberry in Taiwan but I haven't published yet. So here is seven seven species. It's the Rogosus Bravinus sorry it's Latin it's difficult to pronounce so I just Easily to pronounce. Uh, Calipers, violences, purpurus, and uh, Burgers Latour. And Burger, Burgers Latour is the uh, conservative, protective species in Taiwan. Uh, first, I want to show you a story it's about the uh, Rogosus. Rogosus is the most common species in Taiwan. You can find them in any other beaches. And in Taiwan, most of them is small size, just like left picture. And how about the right size, right picture? It's found at Dongshan National Park. 
So I wanna answer why the body size difference between、uh, Dongshan National Park and other islands or other coast from Taiwan. Yes, we can see it's really different size, uh, significant size size difference. It's the average size in. Taiwan and other ecological island is the average size from Dongshan Island. Yeah, we can sure we can see this figure. A is Dongshan Island, and B, C, D, E, and H is from other islands or other coasts in Taiwan. So we can see very significant difference between among Dongsha and other other islands. And where is Dongsha Island? Dongsha Island is western south part of Taiwan. Actually, is a atoll, but the atoll is under the sea. Just the island is up to the sea. Let's see a video. We can see the situation of the land coming quite clearly in Dongsha Island. We can see a lot of land coming quite on the beach at night. And they all, most of them use the Africa sh snail show. Here is the answer of the body size difference. It's my Facebook page, Land Comic Craft. And as I said, the result is the abundance food provided at Dongsha Island. We can see a lot of Land Comic Crafts are eating the、uh, seagrass diabetes, diabetes on the beach. And the seagrass debris, the debris is also a、uh, nutrient, so the lehemi crab can grow to the larger size than other islands or other co coast in Taiwan. And our result also already published. If you are interested in the result. You can、uh, search this article. Yes, we can see a lot of secrets accumulate on the beach. Another story, another research is about the、uh, Saint Patrick Le Hermit crabs. There are three kinds of species.、Uh, we all. Usually can find in the、uh, on the beach and coastal forest is Cavipus, Bravimenus, Bravimenus, and Rocky Rugosus. So we want to know the、uh, mechanism why these three species always together. Are they competition with each other? Or they have niche difference, or they have some predation situation. So we can, uh, as my results, uh, we find we found that Rogersus is more near the sea, 
uh, six and three is kilometers, and the most far and high altitude is Bravinus. Bravinus. I don't know how to how to say this. Do you have any nickname for this? It's really hard to pronounce. And we also publish these results on Plus One. If you are interested, you can search this article. It's for free. And we also find the active time of these three species as difference. We can find ruggedness all over the, the year, but uh, on summer, in summer, the most active species is Vervinus, Vervinus, Vervinus. And in fall is Calipus. So we think they have some breeding, different breeding strategy to avoid competition each other. Uh, when it comes to the predation, we also find some case of predation, such as menaces predates the ruggedness. Yes, so if you have prevenances, you must be careful because they have predation behavior. So they are not just scanver, scanger. They also is predator. And here we, I want to share the ecotourism cases of three speed, three places. Number one is whole one. And here is a aquarium, the most biggest aquarium in Taiwan. Is